Welcome to the last TISNET GK session for the TISNET exam in 2022. This is the eighth session and for those of you who are here for the first time, here is a list of sessions that we had which you can view by subscribing to our channel Pathfinder for me dot, uh, on, on YouTube. Anybody who is preparing for CAT 2022 can subscribe to our channel's Pathfinder for me if you are looking for some strategic inputs on preparation and for content related inputs you can just subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math. We are soon going to start classes for Tisnet 2023. Stay tuned with us uh, to know more about Tisnet 2023 classes. With this, let's look at our first question. Pahela Phagun is a spring festival celebrated in which country? I think the name itself gives it away. The correct answer is Bangladesh. Now, what does Pahela Phagun imply? The first day of the spring is called Pahela Phagun. Uh, the festival in Bangladesh is also known as Basant Utsav. In fact, that's a familiar term in India also. And the changes have been made to Bangla calendar. And after these changes, the Pahela Phagun is celebrated on 14th of February instead of the 13th of February. Next question. With which state will you associate Patola Nach? So Patola Nach will be associated with the state of Assam. So what does Patola Nach uh, stand for it stands for the puppet dances so it's a traditional string puppet uh, theater from Assam and it is also called as Putala Bhavana usually Patola Nach is used to perform stories or scenes from Ramayana or Mahabharata the dolls that are used are as tall as 1.5 meter and they are made of hollow wood or bamboo and their heads are made up of Terracotta. Some musical instruments are also used in this process and the common ones are the dhol, harmonium and kansi. So there are other types of puppetry very popular in India and puppetry has a you know long history in India. In fact the art is believed to have originated somewhere around 4000 BC you know that's some 6000 years back. So puppets have been used to animate and communicate ideas in human societies, even in India. And there are other puppet forms apart from string puppet forms. The string puppet forms in Assam are known as Kaligaon, Barpeta and Majuli. But the other puppet forms, primarily the shadow puppets, the rod puppets and uh, sleeve or palm puppets or even glove puppets, whatever you want to call them. So shadow puppets, so shadow puppets are famous in other states also. For example, in Kerala, the shadow puppets are known by the name of Tolpao Kuthu. Tolpao Kuthu. In Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, they are known as Togalu Gombeyeta. Togalu Gombeyeta, both in Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Then rod puppets, another form of puppet dance is popular in West Bengal, Odisha and Bihar. The traditional raw, rod puppet form of dance in West Bengal is known as Putal Nach or Putul Nach and in Bihar it is known as Yampuri. Some of the other famous puppet dance in different states, uh, Kala Sutri Bahulya in Maharashtra, Putal Nach we have already seen in West Bengal, Gombeyeta in Karnataka. Tholu Bommalata in Andhra, Katputli in Rajasthan and Kathi Kundi in Odisha. These are some of the other puppet forms famous in India. Next question, in which Indian state or union territory is the festival of Hola Mohalla celebrated? The correct answer here out of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Punjab and Madhya Pradesh is Punjab. So it's a three day festival called Hola which the Sikh community generally celebrates. It falls in the month of March. And the term Hola Mohalla means the charge of an army. Next question. Sajibu 
Cheraoba is a lunar new year festival celebrated in which Indian state? The correct answer is the state of Manipur. So the festival is also known by other names. Sajibu Nongma also called as Mitei Cheraoba or Sajibu Cheraoba. This is basically because these people, Mitei people, they are the most, you know, they are most likely to observe this festival every year. Next question. With which state is the traditional folk dance Bonalu associated? So Bonalu, which is the traditional Hindu folk festival centered around goddess Mahakali, it is associated with the state of Telangana. So it's a festival of Deccan Shaivite tradition. It is celebrated annually in the twin cities of Hyderabad and Secunderabad and in other parts of Telangana as well. And what does the term Bonam mean? Bonalo is a derivative of the word Bonam or Bhojanam which means meal or feast in Sanskrit. Next question. With which state is the play Chintamani Padya Natakam associated? The correct answer is Andhra Pradesh. It is associated with Andhra Pradesh. It's a hundred year old play written in the 1920 by a playwright called Kallakuri Narayan Rao who was a social reformer. And the play is about Chintamani who is a courtesan and she is also a devotee of Lord Krishna and she sings bhajans in his praise. And the play talks about one businessman from the Arya Vyasya community who loses much of his wealth and family due to his attraction for Chintamani. So the businessman is known by the name Shubhi Shetty. Recently, the government of Andhra Pradesh had to implement a ban on staging of this 100 year old play because a petition was submitted to the Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy to ban the play. In fact, the Arya Vyasya community has been petitioning governments for several years to ban this play stating that this particular play portrays the community in a negative light. And the other reason why they, they wanted a ban to be imposed on this play is much of the play nowadays sees the central character that is the Subi Seti who is a businessman from the Arya Vyasya community being made fun of for losing all his wealth. And also the fact that the dialogues and content nowadays are offensive and vulgar which basically attaches a stigma to the entire community. So the government has banned this 100 year pl uh, old play. Next question, which of the following is not a gharana of Kathak? The correct answer is Gwalior. In fact, Gwalior is a gharana of vocal music but not Kathak. So Kathak is one of the eight major forms of Indian classical dances. The origin of Kathak is attributed to traveling bards or poets in the ancient northern India known as Kathakars. Kathakars is people who used to communicate Kathas which is another word for stories and hence Kathakars are storytellers. So Jaipur, Banaras and Gwalior all of them are gharanas of Kathak dance. Then we also should know the classical dance forms as recognized by Sangeet Natak Academy and the Ministry of Culture. Bharatnatyam from Tamil Nadu, Kathak from Uttar Pradesh, Kathakali from Kerala, Kuchipudi from Andhra, Odissi from Odisha, Satriya from Assam, Manipuri from Manipur, Mohiniattam from Kerala. And some scholars also believe Chau, Yakshagana and Bhagavat Mela as classical dance forms, although they are more of folk dance forms. And here is a list of famous dancers from each of these categories Bharatnatyam, Rukmini Devi, Padma Subramanyam, Padma Subramanyam, Vajanti Mala and Hema Malini. Kathak, Birju Maharaj, Shambhu Maharaj and Gopi Krishna. Kathakali, Kala Mandalam Krishna Nair, Raman Kutti Nair, Kuchipudi, Malika Sarabhai, Odissi, Sujata Mahapatra, Surendranath Jena and Shobhana Sahajananan. And these are some of the others. So you should know not only where these dance forms have originated but also some of the famous proponents of each of these dance forms. Next, with the 40 day harsh spell of winter, 
known as Chillai Kala, is associated with which state or union territory? So the correct answer here is Jammu and Kashmir. So it is a local name given to the 40 day harsh period of harsh winter uh, from December 21 to January 29. It's a 40 day period. This 40 day period is also followed by two other periods of 20 and 10 days each. So the 20 day period is Chillai Khurd from January 30 to February 18 and Chillai Bacha from February 19 to February 28. Each of them are associated with harsh spell of winters. Next question. Langa Manganiar are associated with the correct answer here is music. In fact, the Langas and the Maganiars, they are basically hereditary communities of Muslim musicians from Rajasthan. In fact, uh, the districts of Rajasthan that border on Pakistan, Jaisalmer and Barmer, these singers will also be found in some districts of Pakistan. So these artists have been in news because they have been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic and this poses a challenge to the very survival of this popular art form. Traditionally, the Langas and Manganiyars, they say, sang for their Hindu Yajmans or Hindu patrons on Holi, Diwali or on other auspicious occasions like weddings. The folk art that is practiced by the community includes ballet, folklore and songs. Next question. A physical copy of the holy uh, Guru Granth Sahib was recently flown in from Afghanistan. What is a physical copy of the Guru Granth Sahib known as? The correct answer is Sarup. So it's a physical copy also called Beer in Punjabi. So every Beer has around 1400 pages, 1430 pages to be precise, uh, which are referred to as Angs. And the Sikhs consider Sarup of Guru Granth Sahib a living Guru and treat it with utmost respect. They believe that all the 10 Gurus were the same in spirit and different in bodies. And the Guru Granth Sahib is their eternal physical and spiritual form and that is why they respect it. In fact, the installation and transportation of Guru Granth Sahib, the physical form, is governed by a very very strict code of conduct. And this code of conduct is called as Rehat Maryada. So it is carried by a person who is walking barefoot and generally carried on the head of the person carrying it. Next question. With which of the following states is the Harela festival celebrated? In which it should be in which? So the Harela festival is associated with the state of Uttarakhand. So Harela, which means the day of the green, is celebrated by villagers across Uttarakhand as a festival of greenery, peace, prosperity and environmental conservation. Nine days before this particular festival, they sow seeds of five to seven crops, of crops like maize, til, udad, mustard and oats. And they are sown in bowls of leaves, also known as donas. Next question, with which of the following states or union territories is the Shigmu festival associated? The correct answer is the state of Goa. And it is also known by the other, uh, other names like Shimga or Shishirotsa. Both, are, both of them are other names of the Shigmu festival. Next question, Japi, Zorai and Gamosa. They are associated with the state of Assam. So what is Japi? Japi is basically a conical hat. It is made of bamboo and covered with dried palm leaves. It is used in official functions to felicitate guests. Similarly, Gamosa is nothing but a cloth and it is used to wipe one's body. This gamosa is also used to felicitate dignitaries and guests or celebrities in a celebration. And then we have zorai. What is zorai? It's essentially a tray with a stand 
with or without cover made up of bell metal in fact the entire tray is made up of bell metal it is primarily used as an offering tree during prayers or to serve pan to guests so there are multi purpose tray so assam the bell metal hub of assam sartheberi in bajali district is the place where bulk of zorais of assam are manufactured next question moon shugu is a type of so moon shugu out of these four options it's a type of handmade paper it's a fine textured handmade paper and is integral to the culture of tawang in arunachal pradesh in fact the khadi and village industries commission has installed a factory for handmade paper unit or handmade paper making and this aims at reviving the art and it also aims at providing the local youth with um, employment the art of making uh, mon shugu or monpa handmade paper originated around 1000 years ago so we are talking about monpa handmade paper or mon shugu the art originated around 1000 years ago and had disappeared almost because of the competition from cheap and inferior chinese paper next question sangam literature relates to the state of tamil nadu it has been a much ignored literature and of late only people have started showing interest in sangam literature but it is an ancient literature uh, spanning to around 5 6000 years back the popular lingaraj temple is located in which of the following cities easy one bhubaneswar next question the yakshagan is a theater form originating from so yakshagan is a theater form originating from kerala and karnataka khir bhavani mela which it witnesses lakhs of pilgrims every year from across the country takes place in which of the following states or union territories the correct answer is kashmir in fact around 25 kilometers away from shrinagar you find the khir bhavani or kshir bhavani or ragnya devi temple next with which place is the chithirai festival associated it is associated with madurai in fact it is a celestial wedding wedding of gods and goddesses so goddess meenakshi is married to lord sundareshwar this festival is also associated with the visit of lord asgar to the city of madurai in all pomp and show next with which indian state is the festival of nokhai associated the festival of nokhai is associated with the state of odisha and with this we come to an end of this series of tisnet gk for those of you who have subscribe to our channel who have viewed these sessions thank you very much for all the support it only motivates us to do more and to do better if you are aspiring for tisnet 2023 please stay tuned to this channel pathfinder for me and mend your math pathfinder for me and mend your math stay tuned to these two channels for inputs related to strategy gk and uh, content related to quantitative aptitude that's all thank you very much